everyone, Zana Takura here. I hope you're okay and well. And today we are back with possibly the last episode of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls, which is crazy to think about. It feels like we've been with this game a long time, but then at the same time, we've barely been with this game. And just in case it is the last one, Monokuma is going to be uh, in, in, the, in the background. Which it's, it's reversed. The camera's reversed, so I'm having to go the opposite direction to what I normally go. Let's get into the game. We have... Hang on, let me just move some stuff out of the way. We are on our way to get Monica. Uh, we know she's on the top floor of the building. We just got to get through all of this lock first. So I think we just go up the stairs to the next floor. Yeah, there's another floor to go, I think. So that should be cool. Can we get, I think we came through that room. Did we go through this room? I don't remember. We'll quickly have a look inside. No, we haven't been in, oh no, we have been in this room. Because we were talking with um, uh, Kotoko, who was like, oh, I, I, uh, I totally don't think uh, adults are demons now, and I'm on your side. How much longer until we get to the roof? We've climbed pretty high. Can't be too far away. So as far as I know, I think we are pretty much nearing the end, actually, so... Let's see, we should be on the next floor above now. Oh no, we're still on that floor. Okay. But we're gonna have to... Yeah, this seems safe. Oh. Well, that's a pretty creepy door. What should we do? Don't look at me, I don't know. What should we do? Are you actually planning to open this obviously creepy looking door? I mean, there might be something important or useful in here. I'm not going to help you out if a head starts rolling on the floor like last time. Don't say that. It's scary. But we're going in anyway. Torture chamber. That's why I warned you. God, jeez. Let's get outside. Wait. This is. It's wood. Oh wait. Kamaru. What is this? It's written in blood. I can see Kamaru, and then right? I think it's Makoto. I'm not sure. How the fuck did he get here? Ah! Ah! Don't scare me like that! If you were gonna tag along with us, make your presence known! Jeez! So... It was here. Um... Mr. Haichi? You have no idea what this room is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. It's a torture chamber, obviously. Obviously, I know what it is. This is a torture room. Those kids were torturing our loved ones in here. Torture? You guys saw that broadcast too, right? Just move my keyboard in so I can get a bit closer. More comfy. Someone help! That's my wife! Oh, that broadcast we didn't see. Got ya. Try and flush us out from the base. Those brats made us watch our loved ones get chopped up. Please excuse me. For some reason, I've become very tired, and I keep yawning. So if I yawn, I apologize. What? What? Such a despair-inducing idea. Someone with experience must have planned it. You understand now, right? This room. It represents all the despair we were forced to feel. All the adults back at the secret base. Their loved ones were killed right here. All of them? It's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. 
And then those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah, so? Well, doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? It's true. Well, capable or not, that's what happened. And that's why we can't show any mercy. Not anymore. I'll never forgive those bastards. Never! This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like broken toys. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. I want to know what the- We're not taking their side. It just, it seems like something's off to me. I agree. The fact that they would be like, oh, we know exactly who we need to get. The kids shouldn't really care who they pick up as long as they kill people. As long as they're killing adults, that's all that matters. So I'm with Toko on the fact that they'd have to actually have a bit of ingenuity behind the whole thing. So, I mean, maybe Monica could have done it? Since Monica seems to be the smartest one of all of them? I am so sorry. <laughs> this dream will have yawns within. <laughs> you go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. Well, as long as you don't start destroying the building while we're inside it, that'd be I great. I have to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Why? Mr. Haiji, I understand how you feel, but those kids didn't do it of their own free will. Let's just go. <gasps> but... He ain't gonna listen to reason. He's too far gone now. He's too far gone. Toko... Shouldn't we explain the brainwashing to Haichi? He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. But I wanted to ask him about his little sister, too. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Off? The victims are all relatives of the people at the secret base. Doesn't that seem strange? No matter how smart those brats might be, how could they possibly learn who they all were? Seems legit to me, not gonna lie. Jeez, things are starting to get fishy. It smells like fish. But we've come this far. No way we can head back now. I'm sure it'll be all right. You and me, we can do this. Together forever, cause we're best friends. You're right. No choice. We have to press forward. I wonder if Haichi's okay. Stop worrying about other people. Ooh. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself. Ooh, there's another one. Wait, do, which way am I going? Uh, I need to turn around. It made me face the wrong direction. Another save point? So many saves! City on the ducky. Let's go. Byakuya is nearby. Oh, she can smell him. <laughs> huh? How do you know? Please tell me she can sniff him. I can smell him. His aromatic sweet fragrance is getting stronger. You mean his B.O. is getting stronger? Ugh, gross. Don't say it like that. It makes it sound like he smells bad. But then again, the smelly master is good too. That itself is a reward for us. Yeah. Yuck. Us? You're including me in this? 
anyway, there's no mistaking it. He's close. I, f I feel like she's probably including Jack in that rather than you. I freaking hope so. But first we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it right. But before we go, let me nourish myself. Calm the frick down, dude. <laughs> yep. Appropriate response. Right, where are we now? Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying not to yawn and I can't help it. Okay, so these I assume will open at some point or are they just closed? I mean, they're like they're bolted shut. So let's just go, yeah, let's just go inside. Wow. For some reason, this room creeps me out. D you don't recognize this from when you were here before? I guess they use this room as a war room. Probably made it creepy for ambiance. Pretty blunt if you ask me. But I guess you can't expect much from kids. Wow. You're mean. <laughs> I'm glad you're on my side. That's a backhanded compliment. <laughs> it's because she loves you. There's a hidden room behind that throne. Of course. There's always a hidden passage. So it really was a hidden room. <laughs> I didn't even realize that she was trying to be like, maybe you should shoot the Monokuma to realize where the secret room is. I was just like, and there's a Monokuma, it needs to die. Do you think the Yakuya could be in there? This is exactly the kind of room where he'd be hidden. Yeah. Um. Togo, wait up! She already ran through. <laughs> Love it. Now nah, she's right here with me. Oh, God. What's this? I'm sorry, you must be embarrassed by my hole, but I'm just so tired now. For some reason, I feel really sleepy. Thank you for everything. Please get along with the new kid, too. Ah, that was fun. It's a sock. The death of the sock. Alright, let's just keep going. This one's different from the other one. It's really dreary. This ladder, it's pretty suspicious. Mm hmm. But Master is inside a storage room. What kind of storage room would be up a ladder? Well, let's just check it out for now. Oh, wow. Junko's room. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That's a lot of Junko photos. Wow. These are all photos of Junko and Ashima. Huh? This person is Junko and Ashima? She's different than how I pictured her. She looks like your typical trendy teenage girl. Yeah, I always was always surprised. I'm like, ha, ah, she's cute. She's fucking insane, though. What are you saying? Do you know how many people have died because of her? Sorry, you're right. And more importantly, this creepy room is like a cult headquarters. What happened? Take a look at this. The girl in this photo with Junko. It's Monica. I see. No wonder. She has a wicked face. Really? Looks like a normal smile to me. Hmm. That just makes it creepier. Posing with Junko and Ashima and smiling like this. The way this photo was placed here, I'd guess this is Monica's room. I was about to say, this feels like it would be Monica's room. <laughs> I wonder she wants to be the successor. 
She worships Junko from the bottom of her heart. But don't you think it's a little strange? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're still on about that ghost or whatever. If you're curious, you can question her yourself. I thought Master would be here, since this is a hidden room and all. But I guess not. Hmm. Suspicious indeed. Anything else for me to look at? Like, Jesus, just, just photos of just literally just junk. <laughs> that looks like the most uncomfortable bed ever. I never expected my mother would abandon me to my father, someone I never met before. I never thought something like that could happen to me, meow. Oh, it's Monica. I can't remember how Monica talks. She's like cute, isn't he? If this was a fair if this were a fairy tale, the main character would tie the knot with a prince from somewhere. But I know this is reality, not some silly old tale. The only thing I can do is sigh. Selfishly do their business, selfishly give birth, and then to top it off, selfishly abandon. <laughs> Such pathetic characters. How splendid. Ah, right, right. Speaking of splendid, all my new family is so splendid too. The attitude they have towards me, the outsider, is far too obvious. When I say a joke, the room freezes. When I smile, they make a face and say, you don't deserve to laugh. They're so amazing. It's so splendid. <laughs> so splendid that I want to die. Just kidding. No, seriously, I was kidding. Just a joke. What? What? Why? What? Alright, get me down from here. From this creepy cult room. What's this way? Another ladder? Alrighty. Oh, right, okay. My intuition says we're almost at the highest level. You're surprisingly correct. That spiral staircase must be connected to the roof. Oh, my burn ammo is full. Could you not give me the ammo that I'm low on? I could do with, a, like, 20 break bullets. Where does this go? Oh, this is the other side. Oh. making sure there's nothing else for me to pick up. I don't think there is. Oh. This door is locked. Uh, yeah, that's a big padlock. No doubt about it. Master has to be on the other side of this door. Huh? You're not gonna lose your composure this time? <laughs> You're not gonna, like, cling to the door and cry and shout and make ugly faces? Well, it's true that I might do that, but it's weird hearing it from someone else. <laughs> The fact that you're thinking about doing it, though, is hilarious enough. When your purpose lies just before you, sometimes you need to be as calm as a corpse. That's a creepy example. Anyway, I'm not going to have some half-assed reunion now, but a full joyous reunion later. And when that happens, I'll cry and shout and make ugly faces in Master's arms. I really want to see him react to her just being like... Mm. To be out here and throw herself at him. He's like, oh shit, Toko. Oh god. Why Toko? <laughs> Are you sure he'd be okay with that? There's no way he'd dislike it. Jeez, you don't understand men at all. Sorry, I'm looking at my hands in disgust because um, a, a pen exploded on my hands early and I've got remnants of ink all over them and it's just annoying you need to be in love a woman in love is the most beautiful woman of all i'll try to remember that <laughs> yeah i scrubbed my hands for ages but i've still got some that just won't come off god damn ink all right let's sit on the duck <laughs> sit on the duck and they left me stuck sitting on the duck It's at the back here, isn't it? Yeah. I did a full 180, full 180, full 360. Let's go. Turn, turn, 
same turn. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> You're right. Ugh. Do you have a paper bag on you? I mean, I am making you guys run up it, so. Here we go. Ooh. Oh my god, we're still going? That's it. This huge airship is the Excalibur. Does that thing even fly? It looks like a floating hotel. Whoa, that's a lot Ooh. of them. Shit. Nothing but chumps. Let's end this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Siren Knight. Did we do it? Switch to Jack though, and we're having this conversation right now. good okay we're good Ugh. finally we're free of interruptions Info. all we gotta do now is get in the airship then let's hurry and end this okay we can climb up here we can't climb up. there we go i was gonna say we can't climb up here okay be pal Oh, okay, we're doing this angle, all right? Hey, Toko. What? A lot of terrible things happen to me in this city. And I have a lot of bad memories. But I am so happy that I was able to meet you. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? 
You can say that stuff after everything's over. <sighs> You're right. Let's go. In the airship. I'm sure that girl Monica is in that huge hall all the way in the back. We've got a lot to go. Oh, yeah, we don't have the map for this. Here we go. Wow. Oh, we're back here again. I really, really love Big Sis Junko so much that the word love isn't enough. I love Bi Big Sis Junko, who shined light upon Monica's world. If only I could see her one more time. If only that horrible name never happened. Monica will do anything it takes. Monica will cut her wrists. Monica will drink poison. Monica doesn't need her eyes, ears, no nose or mouth. But yeah, I know, no matter how many painful things I do, no matter how many shameful things I do, it won't change the facts. Monica will just end up hurt and ashamed. I know that. Monica knows that. But because I know that, without a doubt, Monica feels lonely and sad and empty. I just want to die. I know. That's why I feel hatred. That's why I want, want to kill them all so bad. That's why I thought of the idea of the successor. Just a little bit more, please. Just a little bit more, and the world will know despair once again. Wow, crazy lady. Okay, well, I can't use the heart, so that's pointless. Um, this is where it came from originally, right? I might as well explore a bit before we go in there. Can't go any in any, in, in any of these rooms. What's this? Oh. Hello. Hello. There we go. I'm the prince of inspiration. The strongest land animal animal is the hippo. It's decided. The skin is four centimeters thick, and four whole of uh, four whole centimeters. That's about the thickness of an omelet. I got it. I totally got it. The sadness I felt was really just not having peace of mind. I'm sad that mommy hates me because I'm not at peace. If that's the case, it's simple. If I don't want to be sad, all I have to do is change the peaceful place. I just have to believe that being hated makes me at peace. If I can do that, even when she tells me to die, I will always be at peace. I've heard that there will be clear weather after a typhoon, but I don't think they were talking about families. The more mommy hates me, the better it makes me feel. Now I can stay by mommy's side forever, at peace. Sure, kid. Sure. Okay, right, none of these open. So let's just focus on picking up the items as we go. What's this one? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I don't know how to buy alcohol properly. It's my fault that I cough when you smoke. It's my fault, and that's why Dad gets mad at me. Oh, they're really trying to grind in the guilt now. I'm sorry for making you look like the bad guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm the one who's at fault, and I'm sorry I made you look like the bad guy. Please don't throw me away. Please stay with me. Please keep being my dad. Ugh. They're really grinding them gears. Anything down here? No? Seriously? Okay. make that corridor and there's nothing down it? Rude. Let's check this corridor, then we'll buy some upgrades. There's not much point in me buying like any more um, upgrades for my bullets because they're all at max. So. Peter Piper picked a peck of pe pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. There are tons of reasons tongue twisters are hard to say, but I think a lot of it comes from having to suddenly start another constant sound. Humans are weak to sudden changes. I dislike sudden things too. Old men just suddenly start talking about it. Mummy suddenly starts crying. Just thinking about it makes my tummy squeeze. Why do I have to feel like this? I'm fine with normal. I don't need to sparkle. Mummy tells me it's too late once you're old. Mummy says youth isn't eternal, but I didn't want to even want to start. Youth might not be eternal, but I'm sure knowledge is. But I cannot say that to Mummy. If I say something like that, Mummy would cry. Even though it hurts and it's scary and it makes me sad when the old men are gentle to me. Make Mum. 
Making mummy cry hurts more, so I might as well just be gentle all the time. If I just hold in a little pain and fear and sadness, mummy doesn't have to cry a single tear. You kids are fucked up. And your parents are to blame. I'm the worst. It was a horrible result. I feel so worthless. I want to die. Why am I like this? Why can't I just be better? Father had such high hopes for me, but I couldn't meet his expectations. Not even once. It was all meaningless just because I wasn't good enough. It was stupid of Father to expect so much from a worthless fool like me. Why am I me? Why wasn't I just born better? Why am I not the child Father wanted? But excuses aren't going to help me now. Only hopeless idiots fritter away their lives with self-hatred. I don't have time. I need to work even harder. I need to live up to father expe father's expectations. It doesn't matter how high they are. I don't want to disappoint him. Never again. Once again, kids are down fucked up. Ooh, see, look, there's a shiny over here. What's this shiny? Hello? The family from the day before yesterday. Toko Fukawa. <gasps> Toko! So this is also your book? Ah, why is there no synopsis written here? I'm sure you wouldn't know this, but there's not, not, that's not rare among pure novels. With a name as prestigious as mine, you don't need a summary to move units. <laughs> but because this is written by a friend, I, I, at, I at least want to know the synopsis. <laughs> okay, as a friend, I'll tell you. Since you're listening to the author herself, you can better clean your ears and listen carefully. Hmm. Wait. Oh, well, actually, never mind. It's fine. Continue. Don't mess with me. What's the problem? Calling me a friend like that, then snatching my moment away from me? You sadist. Oh. It's not like that. I just think that maybe because it's your book, I should go into it cold? Well... If that's the case, I guess I can understand. But you should be more clear when you speak. You startled me so much you nearly made me forget the idea for my next book. <gasps> oh, you already have an idea for the, for your next work? Isn't that obvious? Who do you think I am? I always have more than 200 ideas in stock. I just haven't decided which idea to use. Well, maybe it would be fun to write about your own experience, like in this town. You're right. Write about my own experience, huh? I've heard that advice before. But I've already decided not to write about this town. Or maybe I should say that even if I do end up writing something, I would never publish it. I'd want to read it, though. A novel about this city written by you? <laughs> like a novel written about me. About this town and about what happened to you? Um... I'd rather keep it a memory. A memory just for myself. No, that's wrong! Huh? Wait, what? What I mean is, it's not just your memory. It's both our memories together. Ah... Uh... <laughs> right? Hmm. You're an average idiot, but your hairstyle is weird. <laughs> Jeez. It's not weird. My antenna is charming and really pretty. Jeez, I thought you were gonna actually going to say something nice to me. Not in a thousand years. But you made me happy. Aww. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> you didn't hear me? I said you're an average idiot with a weird hairstyle and a brother complex. <laughs> really? I heard you say you made me happy. Don't mess with me. What? So you did hear me? Lol. So cute. The pair of them are so cute. Right, let's go. We gotta move. We gotta buy some stuff and then we gotta sit on the dock. Hello. Hey, welcome. Okay, let's see. We're gonna want Jack as high powered as we can possibly get her. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. The attack speed seems okay for me. Battery efficiency. Battery efficiency isn't too bad either. That's two thousand. I can't afford that anyway. Um, charge speed. Charge attack power. Charged attack. I don't even think I've done a charged attack. Let's get another combo. Whee! And then we can get... Let's get this one. Oh. And that means we can get one more. 
Uh, do we want charge speed? Let's do speed. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Might as well max out Jack. And they left me sa sat. I was going to say st stuck. Stat. Stuck at it? I don't know. I was trying to say sat and stuck at the same time. Don't ask me why. My brain was having a part there for a second. Ooh, let's go. And they left me stuck. Say nanada. Jeez. The atmosphere in here is practically screaming final boss fight. Yep. Toko? We're going to be all right. Aren't we? We've come this far already. Don't go freaking out now. They should be scared of us. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. After all, we're a powerful team. The dynamic duo themselves. Wait, powerful team? Can't you think of a cooler name than that? Well, then you think of one. You're the ultimate writing prodigy, after all. Yeah, you're right. I'll think of something after the happy ending. Yeah. After the happy ending. Let's do it! I'm excited! There's nothing else to pick up this there. Nope, let's do it! Uh, no, no. It's on the ground! I come in with my megaphone. Hey, hey, hey! So you finally decide to show up, huh? So slow! This isn't a manga! It shouldn't take a whole year for a day to pass! I'd like to point out, dude, you haven't seen me read manga. It takes me a whole day to read an omnibus manga, which is three volumes in one. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> I don't know. Either that, some people like to take their time and really like stare at pictures. I just like, I, I feel like I can just see and read at this, you know, read the text and everything at the same time. I don't know. I haven't reread them afterwards, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The black monocle? What is he? He looks vulgar. Hey, fuck off, four eyes! Wow. I wouldn't expect some pasty four eyed emo chick to understand my charm. I get no respect. Yo, I'm so baller. If a professional musician ever came to my concert, they'd retire the next day. This guy's such a dick. I'd make them choke on the hater aid. And you're gonna be choking too when I'm done with you. Oh, we gotta fight him first. W what is this thing? Blabbering on with its nonsense. Could it? Does it have an AI like Shirokuma? Did you say Shirokuma? So you know him, huh? How's little bro doing? Brothers? Well, he's like a brother. We bear folks stick together, you know. But that ain't important. Don't you think it's strange, huh? Weird. I'm talking about why Monica ain't here. To tell you the truth, it's nap time for little Monica. Nap time? Well, yeah, she's still a kid after all. She wore herself out being all hyped up. What? What is this? What? If you're brave enough chicks to disturb her nap, you can always try opening the door. Which door? Which door? <laughs> Hell if I know. Monica made this little trap to keep out big mouths like me, see? If you open the wrong door, blammo! Instant dust! Hello, nasty. But if you leave her be, she'll sleep for like three years. Now what you what you gonna do? Hurry, choose. Damn it, you're making me impatient. Kamaru, you've seen that Monica kid before, right? So what do you think? Any idea which door she would choose? Hmm. Rather than choose, it's more like which would she even be able to access? But it can't be that simple. He said it's a trap, so it can't be easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Puzzle time? Are you sure? If you solve this quiz, you won't get to hear all the bitchin' lines I worked on. Well, I mean, she's green, so my brain automatically assumes green. Damn it! I can't get these copyrighted songs out of my head! I'm bugging out! I have saved, so... Am I gonna die? Whoa! Victory! And that's the end of the third arc! It's not the green door! If one of these doors is correct, 
We have a one in three chance of getting it right. Don't rely on probability. Think about it. Smack your head and remember. Hitting my head might make me forget. Ladders. Right. That might be a clue. Ladders. I just went for the one in the middle because I was like, she she has green hair. Maybe that's right. No, the title of voice of a generation. Shut up, dude. Come on, stop taking this so seriously and help me come up with ways we Shut up. Made out she was in a wheelchair. She stood up! Monica is standing! Huh. I thought that's Haiji's line. I knew it. You can stand. Your legs aren't paralyzed. Huh? Would you look at that? You're totally right. Oh my god. And you were like that from the beginning, right? You just pretended to be disabled. Don't tell me. You saw my secret room, didn't you? So that was your room. I saw the photo of you and Junko, so I figured that was your room. But she's sitting down there, so she pretended to be paralyzed, like, even when she knew Junko? But something didn't add up. To even get to that room, you have to climb up a ladder. There's no way you would make a place like that your room if your legs were disabled. That's how you figured it out. <laughs> you might have a stupid looking face, but you sure are pretty smart. Rude! I have an average looking face. But why pretend that you're disabled? Because pitiful children are the most powerful, don't you think? No. Huh? Like, not, okay, not in the way she's, she's saying it, being like, yeah, everyone, they just, like, force people to do stuff for them. No, I'm thinking of the fact that, yes, they are hindered in a way, but they are able to continue to do stuff the same as other people. They just have to do it slightly differently. She's basically just using the fact she's disabled so she can get other people to do shit for her. Monica's home life was terrible. She didn't feel like she belonged there. But Monica was more brilliant than her brother or her father. And they hated her for it. But then, I thought of a way I could counter their neglect and cruelty. All I had to do was become a pitiful figure. Then, I would have the whole world sympathy. Creepy! The wheelchair was inconvenient, of course. But thanks to the act, I acquired much. I even acquired the Warriors of Hope. And Papa and Big Brother were a little nicer to me, too. They thought they were the reason I ended up in a wheelchair, so they really pitied me. You tricked everyone all this time. How she'd managed to, like, trick, you know, like, her medical records and shit, you know? Yeah, the stuff that you'd be like, well, we'll check those and we'll do a, you know, we'll do an x-ray and check her legs. And no, no, just, yeah, that's just over your head make out like that was all done and dusted yeah fine sure you're, you're the worst you're more awful than all the other kids maybe but to survive in that horrible world i had to be when monica talks everyone freezes when monica smiles everyone stops smiling for monica the outsider the eyesore to survive in that house she did what she had to do I want to ask you, the Papa and Big Brother you mentioned, are they from the Toa family? Oh, so you know that much too. See, Toko? It wasn't a hallucination. The ghost was real. I it's a coincidence. Delusion and fantasy with a little coincidence mixed in. Just a teeny weeny bit. It's true. Fantasy and reality overlap sometimes. I'm so desperate to make my fantasies real. That's why whenever I think about the girl I like, I strip her naked in my mind and pose her. Okay, now is not the time for that talk. Silence, Mom. 
Thank God. I'm so appreciative of that skill. So you're the one who made Kamaru come here by using that skinny white-haired boy, right? Why would you do something that could compromise your own plan? My plan? Oh, you mean the children's paradise. Well, personally, I don't really care about that. Monica has a much more important job to do. Does it have something to do with the successor? Yep, that's right. The successor is the most important thing to Monica. And for that plan, I wanted you to come this far, Big Sis. After all, you are essential for the successor. Huh? Is she on about implanting, like, Junko's, like an AI of Junko into Kamaru or something? Just what I'd expect from the little sister of the ultimate hope. You're so impressive, Meow. Completely different than when I first met you. Now, you have the face of a savior. Savior? Kamaru has the face of a high school girl you'd find anywhere. But who cares about any of this? Hurry up and hand over the key to Master's room. Key? Monica doesn't have anything like that. Don't play dumb. Hand it over. Like I said, I don't have it. You want to strip search me to make sure? Monica doesn't mind. But weren't you guys in a hurry? Oh. You want to break this controller, right? You want to stop Mr. Monokuma, right? Uh, is that... Monica Toa, Chief Executive of Toa Group Robotics Branch. This is the magic that Monica invented. So you're the smart kid. And as long as Monica has her magic, Monica can control the Monokumas and the Monokuma kids. Y you're the one brainwashing them too? Huh? You didn't know that? Hm. This idiot brat slipped up. In that case, I'll make you hand over the controller by force. Might want to switch to Jack for that, though. And after that, I'm going to make you hand over the key to Master's room with even more force. Hmm. No, I don't think that's possible. After all, I have a trump card. A trump card? A super big, awesome battle robot the Toa Group Robotics Branch created. That is Monica's masterpiece. It's so much better than the other Warriors of Hope robots. So, Mr. Kurokuma, I leave it to you. Please excuse me. <clears throat> Hell yeah! Leave it to me, Monica! Everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's being broadcast to everybody outside. of a final boss. This one's different than the other robots. Now let's do our best with the boom boom and beat this thing with a kablam! Well, that's not how I would have said it, but nevertheless, Ooh. I am feeling pretty fired up. The blinking part looks suspicious. That's what I'm trying Tomorrow, to do. Let's end this. <laughs> the vulgar one came out. I gotta aim for him. Try hard. Do you really want to save the adults that badly? Sorry, you someone driving like an asshole down. Hope on your shoulders? Ooh, there's bums. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. 
Cause sleep is the cousin of death. Yes. This is for the sake of I forgot his name. Um, that hero guy who got bullied by a dog. Shit. One day is twenty-four hours. Too damn short. I need some insomnia because sleep is the cousin of death. How many times have I got to do this? Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Fucking bombs. Yeah, you know the fucking drill. Can I have some help, please, game? Yo! Can I give thanks to my fam with a sick rap? This is for the sake of... I forgot his name, um... That hero guy who got bullied by a dog! Shit, no! It's okay. Leave it to me. Thanks, Toko. Chewing my tongue because I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> One day is 24 hours. Ah, too damn short. I need some insomnia because sleep is the cousin of death. Shit. This is for the sake of. I forgot his name. Um, that hero guy who got bullied by a dog. To lose? Oh. 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 <sighs> yes, please. We'll save it in a separate slot. <laughs> By Kurokuma. That's right. Now, be a good little girl and just give up. Oh, no. Is Monica gonna be killed? I don't wanna die. No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. No, that's no good. If this controller... 
controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail. Why are you, like, even, you know, entertaining the fact that she's not doing crocodile tears? Just take the fucking controller of her, crush it under your foot in front of her. You don't have to kill her. Just destroy her things. Surely that's enough. And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor. Oh, did you do dums? Crush. Ah, uh, seriously, this game would have been over by now. <laughs> That's enough! Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good! I mean, just chop a hair, I don't know. Get Jack to do something. Jack's scarier than you, Toko, sorry. Oh. Fine. If I break this, the Monokuma's stop, and the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? Hmm... And then this uprising will be over. Oh, I don't know. Something feels fishy. But that was... Well... Kind, was kind of easy. easy, yeah. Is it really okay? <laughs> ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Mmm, ramen. Oh my god, I'd love some ramen. I could eat ramen any day. Or would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? Any day, any time, give me ramen. All day. All the time. <laughs> Just like your older brother. I, I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Master. You mean your happy ending? Sorry. I keep yawning. So let's hurry up and end this. I don't, I don't know why. I always get tired around this time. It doesn't matter what I do. Between, like, 7 and 10, I'm tired. And then when I go... When I try to go to sleep at 10, I'm wide awake again. Uh, um, it's really okay to break this, right? It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas and the brainwash gets lifted. Right. Hmm, no. Theme sus, but you're gonna do it anyway. Break or don't break. <gasps> I have a choice! Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I don't like the fact she's smiling at me. That's the issue. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't like the fact that she's not upset about me trying to break the controller. I'm what I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We can try both. We can try both. I've got to remember not to save over the save slot where I fought the boss. So we're going to break the controller this time, right? We'll do whatever it is. Then we'll come back. And we won't break the controller. That's the plan. We're going to do both. We're going to do both. Let's break it. What I saw after that was fireworks. Fireworks heralding me as a savior. Right. Yeah. A savior. What? Oh. This is why I didn't really want to break the controller, but I've already said I'm going to do both, so I can't go back. A savior of Toa City. What, with lots of explosions? It's thanks to me. I became hope. The hope of the adults who were treated so cruelly. Fireworks. Blessing me. It's all... Thanks to me. Everything is all my fault. Yeah. Game clear. Wow. That's really... That's a real fucking quick ending. Okay. Don't break the controller. I didn't want to, but I said I'd do both. So don't break the controller. 
think I'm losing the battery in the little light. It's not kind of as bright as it used to be. What, what are you doing? S sorry, something is concerning me. Concerning you? Concerning you? Concerning or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesitant. Hes no need to hesitate. Just break the controller. End this already. You're right. No! Please, wait! Y you? Why are you here? Hey, we already know if we break it, everything dies. Don't! Don't break the controller! Yay! Kotoko, you came to save me! Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Huh? I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing that would be bad if it's just the monokumas that's fine but the kids we lose all the friends we made if that happens i'm gonna be all alone what friends you brainwashed them but even then i don't want to be alone please pretty please don't take my friends away kotoko's right don't break that controller if you don't i promise I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko, why are you saying such mean things? We're friends. But not anymore. N no, we're not! You're just a traitor who killed your own friends! Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again. Shut up! Be quiet! What's going on? Yeah. Just let those idiots fight. Hurry up and break the controller. N no, stop! Please, leave me just some hope. I'll even settle for just a little. W what hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? Miss Kumara Maiki, please listen to Monica's request too. Please, make the right choice. If you don't choose right... You're gonna replay this moment over and over. So make the correct choice and end this properly. Correct choice? You're gonna ask me to break or not break again? Here we go again. Break or not break? Well, considering I just saw what it said when it was just like, break the controller and everything exploded and everyone died, uh, I'm not breaking it, okay? I'm not breaking the fucking controller. Maru? What happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty, lame penal colony? Didn't you want to be everyone's hope? Just like your brother? I... I... Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. The kid is fucking creepy. So creepy. Uh, hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? Because this is a magic scene! A happy ending scene with all the Monokumas and Monokuma kids gone for good! Right? I ignore her! It's okay! You didn't make a mistake at all! Kotoko, give it up. Watch the controller get destroyed. Sh shut up! You be quiet! Toko, what should I do? I will leave that decision to you. Damn. But, but uh, however, because I'm leaving it to you, I will share the responsibility as well. So just do what you think is best. What I think is best. Oh my god. Oh, the, the, oh god, they're making it bigger. Apparently that makes me feel worse. I'm still paranoid about the explosions, okay? I am not breaking this fucking controller. I just saw when I broke it, everyone die, okay? I'm not breaking this controller.
I still don't trust it. I don't think it's a good idea to break it. At least, not right now. Yes, leave it for now. Th that's right. Good. Thank you, Big Sis. Thank you so much for not breaking Monica's special controller. Jeez, which side are you on? It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. The cast? Hmm, he'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. See? His hand's on the door! Hi, G. Oh, here Found we go. Monica. He's gonna make this situation so much better, of course! You do have a sibling connection after all. Y you Why are you here? Big Brother came to save Monica, right? They're being so mean. Everybody's bullying Monica. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Big Brother, save Monica. Hmm. Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. <laughs> Psycho. Don't be an idiot! Who the hell's gonna save you? The big brother? Stop calling me that! You're not my sister! You're just the old man's mistake. I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Why are you being so mean? Monica's just a child. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her place. And now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please, stop it, brother. I'm scared. Uh, uh, Mr. Haiji. So that's the controller for the Monokumas. Oh, God. No, you cannot have this controller. What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! Back off! Please, don't, don't be this close to Please him! Please stop! If you destroy that controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted! I won't be able to create the successor! I won't be able to inflict despair on the world! How crazy are you? Now hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I, I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! Wh what's going on? She seems too happy about all of this. Oh, God! <laughs> Again! Oh, my God, this game! How could this game be doing this to me? Look, I'm still going... I'm still going down the route that if something just ah oh, it's just gonna happen so badly if I do it this way. I can't. I can't. I, can't. I keep thinking I'm gonna have that cutscene where everything blows up. So no, I'm not breaking the controller. I'm standing by my decision. Jack, help me. Understood us. What is this? Why are you siding with those brats? I I'm not siding with them or anything. Did you forget what they did? If that's the case, then shut up and listen. Listen? this time the people outside were watching they saw you defeat monica's robot what you did this didn't you you're filming all of this huh? monica has no idea oh just st stump the brat's head in god damn they're still they'd watching. appreciate that they're waiting for you to destroy that controller everyone expects it from you they're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare 
You showed us hope. You were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. I keep wondering how long it's going to go on. Like, it's going to keep forcing you to make this decision. Like, she says people are going to be, like, going over and over and over. So I'm wondering. It's I don't all know. thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. So much pressure. But if you still can't make up your mind, I will just have to help you choose. The whole truth. And there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine. I'll talk. What? It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. That's not a prank! Wait, what? That was a prank? Oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. And around then, Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. she is the moment monica saw her monica understood big sis junko is light itself that will shine down on monica's boring little world it's a miracle thank you god at least at the time i thought it was a miracle but later i learned it was inevitable she came into my life just to take advantage of me take advantage by then Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, big brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? Awkward. And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other warriors of hope were just bonuses. talking about there's no way someone would love you your own parents didn't even love you enough just keep talking I i'm sorry i got it stop big brother uh, at first big sis junko was looking for a corporation that could mass produce machines so that she could use them for the tragedy that's why to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas, concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told them I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. Yeah, which they turned out not to be at all. And the adults actually bought that story? No, it's more like we turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family, but she's tenacious with a genius intellect. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, we let her do whatever she wanted. Ah, oh, it comes back to money. Of course it does. This brat took advantage of her position and started mass producing these monsters on her own. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Junko so happy. She started using them for the incident. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. Oh, I'm sorry, another yawn. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Oh, wow, yeah, my light is dying. I need to touch it. <laughs> Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like a business opportunity. If 
little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. You made them, and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. <laughs> Just what a filthy demon would do. We didn't have a choice. We were in too deep. If we went against the Despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned. Or extinct. Oh, did he did ums? Fate of the world and you'd choose your company instead? Anyways, Toa Group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the Despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because... They were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. Those idiot adults didn't know that. So they worshipped Toa Group like they were saviors. But you better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? Oh, that's no good. So that's why you distanced yourself from future foundation. You didn't want to get found out. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. But the good times had to end eventually. Just when things were going to get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary, but Papa just said it's over, and gave up, like all the fickle wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. You couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the warriors of hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. I was so happy. It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Big Sis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko Onoshima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War! Huh? Causing war. If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? War? What are you talking about, brat? You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so. Why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Uh, don't, uh, I don't trust it. Break the controller, then start a war. Wait, why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. No, I saw what happened when I tried to break it the first time and everything exploded. I'm kind of trusting that judgment. Oh. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now. Nope. Huh? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. Coco, have my back here.
I hate breaking it. No! Stop! Stop asking me! Wait, wait, no! I can't break it yet! So, you're taking this little brat's word over mine? It's not like that! But please, wait! I remember! Remember... what? A while ago, Monica and Kuro Kuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case... This is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode. Explode? If you destroy the controller, the Monokuma stop, but all the Monokuma heads will blow up. And then, headless children everywhere. Ugh, no thank you. Oh, come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made up bullshit? Made up bullshit? No, I saw it because I tried it the first time round. I'm sticking but by I'm my serious. decision. I heard them say it. You know, Monica would totally pull something like that. She betrayed the warriors of hope. She could do it without even feeling guilty about it. She wants ultimate despair. Ultimate despair is all children's heads being blown off. Clearly. So so mean, Kotoko, making me out to be the bad guy. Oh, do 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 do! Just stamp her head in already. Or better yet, put one of the heads on her. She definitely won't want you to break it then. Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed, bitch. A rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious. I heard it. That's enough. Destroy that thing already. No! 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 Never ever destroy that controller! <sighs> oh god, it's gonna do it to me again. How many times am I gonna have to do this? No! <laughs> I'm actually curious. How many times am I gonna do this? Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. I wonder how many, like, scenes they put in for this. I'm generally curious. They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. But even if there's a small chance they're not, I can't do it. The kids wearing those helmets. They're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault. Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? Uh, people should. Huh? Sorry, you can't hear it because of my microphone. But there's a very noisy cat outside. I've got my window open slightly because it's warm. Oh my god, okay, carrying on. After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly! Even if they all died, they had it coming! You've seen what they did to us! They deserve it! You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge! Maybe I am! But how could I not be? After what they did to us... Not even the harshest revenge is enough! To make me forget what I've been through. Uh, you just had your arm broken. It's not, uh, well, your, that and your dad died, I suppose, but some people have lost their entire families. Listen. Listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. Our loved ones were butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. But you were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? I, he's standing too close for my liking. I would have backed off by now. It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> you are... You're our hope. Please, don't betray us. Destroy the controller, please. Please, just 
end this for us. We just want it to be over. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Come on, back. I was about to say, back me up, Toko, please. You can't fool me. Me? No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Hmm? That cat you is really noisy. Monica? I can hear it over the music and everything. What is it even doing? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. What? The children are killed. What would Future Foundation do when they found out? They think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. That's the idea, isn't it? Nope, that's not quite it. Because it won't just end with the war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world, they'd learn about the war in Toa City and they'd come charging in. Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko Enoshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She can't be. She's bluffing anyway. No, you would say that. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? Uh, yeah, because that's gonna fly. And you're with them, right, Toko? Then you could straighten this all out easily. Hmm. I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? Child victims have quite an impact on people. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. I mean, adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? Wait, then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. Mm, that seems legit. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids. Didn't you? Huh? <laughs> Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Komaru's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing, growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. At times, hope can be a terrible burden. It can be a drive to hurt others, just like now. That's... What did you think would happen if you gave people who watched their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! They will turn into demons. Demons who live for revenge. You see? Just listen to them. Side again. Cat is still going outside. Kill? But why? Why is this happening? It's because they've been waiting for you to destroy that controller for so long. What? Those people out there don't care whether or not the heads of the children are gonna explode. Rather, they sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons! And this is all your fault, Big Sis. M me It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault, Miss Komaru Nayagi. What are you talking about? It's not Kamaru's fault, it's yours! Wait! Listen to what she's saying! Oh my god, seriously? If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away. 
She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself. Then she would have her war. No, that wouldn't do. That would not be worthy of the successor, now would it? Sh she can stand? She stood. Monica stood up? That's not important right now. Yeah. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? So anyways, what are you gonna do, hmm? How are you gonna end this? Are you gonna kill the children and play the savior? Or are you gonna spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Oh my god. Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die, and you're going to kill them. <laughs> now, it's about time you made your final choice. Oh, fucking hell. The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely. Shit. Shit. No, no, look. I just, I have to stand by the decision I've been making continuously. I have to, I have to. I've got to. Yep, yep, just, just don't even think about it. Don't even overthink this. Just, just, yeah, just do it. Just do it. I I can't break it. She wants me to fall into despair. That's got to be what it is. No. You're going to break it all right. Monica knows. Huh? You're going to destroy the controller and then the children's heads are going to explode. And that's when the war begins. And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair will be born. Y you don't know that. And like there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the She's not talking about her, she's talking about There's me. There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Juko! Kotoko, when did I ever say that Monica wanted to be the successor? Huh? Monica's not the one who's going to be the successor. It's gonna be Miss Komaru Naegi. Huh? Paint the world with despair. That's what Big Sis Junko always used to say, you know? Well, what could be more despair-inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? So, the one who's gonna murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What? what are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. I already destroyed the controller and got the bad ending. I've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to Future Foundation. With Monica's video message as a bonus set. Monica already declared that Miss Komaru Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Junko. What do you mean? Why would I... Like I said, don't listen to her. She's just trying to keep you from destroying it. Oh, for shut the fuck up, dude. I've had enough of you. <laughs> Big brother, you've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. You shitty little brat. Enough! Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself. But if we do that, the children will die. What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this massacre. What about all the adults who died? Are we just going to forget about them? Don't go dragging us into your revenge! Kamaru has nothing to do with this! I say, please, Toko, back me up a little more than what you have been doing. I feel like I'm having to defend myself here. And you said we were going to share the responsibility. That's right! There's no reason to kill them! You don't have to be a part of this one bit! No need, no reason, no relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request to get Miss Komaru to want revenge. I needed help from her parents. Oh my god. <laughs> now come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. You too, mom and dad. 
the climax is gonna start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshima. What's she done with the parents? <laughs> What do you mean, revenge? Are you ready for this? Take a potty break? Get a list of insults ready for Monica? I don't need a potty break. Let's keep going. Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender to despair? Unable to suppress the urge to kill? Then I'll show you! Mara and Makoto. That's what I thought it said. <laughs> Look, what you're, you're missing the point what? here. More bodies again. You don't have to show them. Anymore. Toko, Toko. Well aware how terrible you are. Toko, come on. You're smart. Put two and two together. After all this, you're still showing off, killing adults? How crazy are you? Maru. She probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. Maru? <laughs> Did you notice? She wrote the names of her children before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole life. Coco, take that fucking control off her right now. Lies. It's just a lie. Those bodies. No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Normally a dying message is something like writing the killer's name. Oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? I played with the bodies of your family like toys. And now you want to kill me, right? Yeah, can we just kill her but not kill the other kids? There's no way! That's a lie! Well... I'm not so sure about that. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey, what are you... Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. Jesus Christ. Now, are you gonna just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you. That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Destroy that controller and finish it! Kill not just for your sake, for your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered! Hold on. We can't just do something like that. It, it's fine. Kamaru? If you want me to destroy it that much, I'll do it. No! I said hold on. Calm down and think carefully. Come, shut up! <laughs> Who cares anymore? No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world, I don't give a damn anymore. I don't give a damn. Kamaru? Toko, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> it's impossible. I, I can't become like Makoto. This is all determined from the very start. The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. Oh, sweetie. No, don't do it. 
I won't let you. I won't let you, sweetheart. No, when... Oh, oh. I don't have a choice. Break the controller. Break the controller. Love it. Love the choice I have here right now. Doesn't matter which one I choose, I guess. Oh my god. Doesn't matter which one I choose, they both say break the controller. Go, go! Save me! Togo! Save me, Togo! Save me! <laughs> save me! Shouting nonsense. Just hand that over. No. I won't give it to you. I need to protect this controller. I need to for Kamora's sake. What are you talking about? She was going to destroy it. That's not how she really feels. I'm sure she's actually thinking that, that she doesn't want to do it. Huh. How the hell could you possibly know that? I, I don't know how. I just know. Huh? I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of escort. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. <clears throat> so, how about this? <gasps> That's right! It's the key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside! Say, wow. you wanna trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami! You're telling me to choose between Kamaru and Master? <laughs> now it's your turn to make a choice. I'm more bothered about where she got the key from. Under her dress. Fine then. Hand over Master's key. I knew you'd do it. Now, why don't you just hand me that controller? No, not gonna happen. Huh? Because I'm taking Kamaru home with me as well. Wow, Topo. You gotta make a choice, that's the rules. Who, who cares about your damn rules? You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice. I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind. Both are... Both are important to me. Aww. So, so, I'll definitely protect both! What the heck? That's just unreasonable. Enough already, just hand over the control! I'll crush it! I'll never, I'll never hand it over! Jack, Jack! You want me to hurt you even more? Hurt, that means nothing to me. I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends, but I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend, so I'll never hand it over. Shut up! In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! No! <laughs> To go to the rescue. Once you are out of control, I'll... let go. I won't let go. Hey, what are you guys doing? The hell was that? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Chip.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not Junko. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That hurts. What? what? You, you hit me! My hand hurts. But that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? Feel my pain! <laughs> Smack! You hit me again! Now come on. Hit me back. <sighs> Why? Isn't it obvious? It, it makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... I don't know what to do in situations like this. Give her a hug. So just for now, if you hit me, we're square, right? So, hit me. Fine. Oh! That was pretty strong. Jeez! You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. Yeah. Aww. We're the same. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Ah, this thank you. Best friends forever. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. <laughs> and we still don't know if if those were really your parents. We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do right now? Have you decided? Yeah, I have. I want to protect both. I'm not going to play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. Hmm. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. Hell yeah. Oh, and we need to save Master Biakia. Wow. Oh, hell yeah. Badasses. Badasses, these two. Oh my god. That thing looks like it's targeting us. Or maybe it's aiming for the controller. What should we do? Fight. I'll fight. I've decided. I'll fight to protect everyone. And this is what, as we call him in this one, Servant Wanted. Pure hope from ultimate despair. Toko, will you help me? Isn't it obvious? It's normal for friends to help each other. Let's do this. We're fighting a big version of you. Are you excited? Kamaru, let's show them. You and I, the power oh, of the oh. ultra dangerous sisters. Huh? What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What, not satisfied? Not good enough Ooh. for you? Ooh. Um, how about we try to top that? You're right. Is this old lady just out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. They're tracking you. No use running. You have to repel them. <laughs> what are you doing to Kamaru? I gotta use all of my skills then. Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, this one needs a knockback, right? Okay. Danger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Danger zone. Stop him doing that. Oh, danger. 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 Oh, I have to choose the right color. Okay. Oh god, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? anymore i won't abandon anyone i won't give in i won't fall into despair this town is doomed i'll fall into despair no that's wrong damn it kamaru you i know what the red is now Color are we yellow? Jack. Oh, I need more fever. I need more fever. for me to stop that one. Knock back. Okay. Chewing my tongue again. Too busy focusing. Oh, is he going to charge again? No, it's knocked back again. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I needed to I needed to do fire. Okay. Danger zone. Danger zone. Oh 
Oh no! No! Oh, I stopped it like literally on the line. Damn it! I gotta do that all over again. No! Oh well, I fucking deserved that. I was expecting it to be so quick. Mm. No, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bloody do this if it kills me. Oh come on! Why am I so stupid at quick time events? Ah! No, go again. Fiaki is gonna be so pissed at me. <laughs> He's gonna Kamaru, be like, "You're such a failure." You and yep, I, I know. The power of the ultra dangerous sisters. Huh? What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What? Not satisfied? Not good enough for you? Um, Kamaru, leave it to me. Let's go. way for us to stop that one. Okay, focus. It's okay. Leave it to me. Thanks. Oh, I got the health as I got hit. Oh my god. Okay, what are we dealing with here? I won't lose. Oh, I won't give up anymore. I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. This town is doomed. Oh, fall into despair? No, that's wrong. Let's go. Your serial killer with Damn, Kamaru. You go, girl. Here we go. Stop that one. I switched in time. Right. Danger. Danger zone. Danger zone. Oh, 
Health. 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 Okay. What are we looking at? Red? Events. Let's do this. Kamaru and I are not alone. As long as there are friends who help each other, there's no need to despair at all. Let's go. I found it. I finally found hope. A hope to call my own. Right, Kamaru? <laughs> yeah, me too. Apparently, I just shot Shuriken. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. Is it dead? Oh god! I must say that seemed a bit excessive. Should have pulled up? Kidding me? No, Big Bang Monokuma is our home. Oh God, we still got to deal with this line, we. That's. Oh dear, you're. Guess who's not gonna actually be able to walk anymore? And now it's over. Uh, it's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just. It's just delaying the inevitable. Delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed. This isn't a happy ending or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair. Nothing has changed. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Naegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Huh? Hand it over. Wow. I was expecting her not to. At this point, I suppose I have to compromise. With no more hostage. Future foundation will come, and the remnants of despair will follow. Maybe it's not going exactly to plan, but maybe a small-scale war will start. I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two, does it? This town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair. <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Well, I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Don't mess with me. Well said. I'm ending without hope or despair. Monica will definitely... Huh? Bye, Monica. Go now. Yeah! It's gonna fall! We're gonna fall! Well, get out of the building, Kotoko! I gotta get out of here! 
Jesus. Uh-oh. Hey, Kotoko? I better not hear you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. See, they say Kotoko, and I say... No. Kotoko, they say, but I say Kotoko. I don't know what the correct pronunciation is. Huh? You must have noticed by now. I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. Bye-bye forever. Oh, geez, just but, lost big it. brother, don't you want to take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You weren't satisfied with this, right? You weren't just gonna walk away. IG's just gone. There's, the, the lights are on and no one's home. He's not in there anymore. I don't want it to end like this either. Big says Junko would hate me if I let it end like this. Hope, despair, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Bye, Monica. <laughs> so this is what despair feels like. <laughs> Is she dead now? Is that a really bad thing to say? Probably. Oh, damn. There's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. Hmm? What happened? I, I know I can save both the adults and the children. We can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko, I... I'm staying in this town. Huh? Hmm, I was thinking that'd be the case. Yep, really, really, really bad results. Here we go, he's gonna be pissed at me and talk to you. You're so bad. Cheese. Right until the end, you prove yourself a worthless piece of trash. Sorry, dude. This isn't working for me. A student like you requires after-school lessons. I'll train you thoroughly later. Dude, couldn't give a shit. You still give me money. I don't give a shit. But there's actually six chapters? Are you kidding me? Really? I thought that would be it. What? 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 Yes, please. Can I save the program? Can I save the program? How many more? I've got loads of save slots. I'll just save it on this one. Chapter 6. Epilogue. Okay, that's fine. We can do an epilogue. The changing world we made. Ah, cool. Let's do it. Seven. He took Monica. Are you kidding me? Oh, you're awake. You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh. You mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish 
a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. No. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So I need you to continue working hard. So that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you. So I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. There is somewhere I need to be, Lita. Yeah. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. Mm. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Is it his sister? I feel like... I feel like it's his sister. That's something's just saying it could be his sister. They do look similar. <laughs> Are they still at it with that successor or whatever? You're talking too loud. They'll hear you. They can hear all they fucking want. A bunch of chumps teaming up together makes them suck even more. Well, when you think about it, the plan was flawed from the beginning. Trying to create a successor while the original still exists? I know this was kind of my idea, but kids sure are stupid idiots. Not just the kids. The adults are idiots, too. Mm. Just by causing a little unrest, just pushing them a teeny bit, I had them spinning around in the palms of my hands. Mm. And despite how you look, you sure are wicked inside. Even if the outside's white, the inside's pitch black. You a rice ball or something? I may be wicked, but you are, too. After all, we are. No, not we. Maybe I... Maybe it's me. <laughs> well, they're pretty much the same. White despair, black hope. In the end, neither one. But I guess that works too. I mean, I didn't really give a damn about this town from the beginning. The fact that those guys will take an interest in this place will yield a much more fruitful harvest. Junkai. Hey, don't you think so? Personally, I think they did a pretty good job for a group of kids. Hey, hey, don't you think so? Thanks to them, the preparations are nearly complete. Laying the foundations for the final match. It's so despairingly perfect. Hey, 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 don't you... Oh, you're so forceful. What, what? Am I being too noisy for you? I see. I didn't know you still felt such emotions. Or perhaps, you're forcing yourself to feel something in a situation like this. Well, not that it matters. Anyway, I leave the rest to you. Though I'm sure the next time I see you, you'll be someone else entirely. I hope you can at least have a little fun. I hope the future is going to be one you can't predict. guy that the character you play is in number two i was waiting to hear from you that's that's the guy who's he's when you when you play danganronpa 2 i can't even remember the name of the character now but you play a character voiced by johnny young bosh i only know that because it's johnny young bosh obviously i'm going to remember that right he's a reincarnation of that guy we just saw God, there's so much there's so still so much of this game I don't know and it's really annoying <laughs> I'm so relieved 
I'm glad you're safe, Byakuya. Yeah! Well, safe enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. The captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Nayagi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. They both decided to stay. Are you kidding me? Not with you? Why? I'll let her explain. She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. Um, can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Oh, here we go. We actually get to... Please, I want to see Tucker's reaction. What are you saying? All this time, you were bawling about how you wanted to go home. Oh, come on! I was not bawling! Don't make things up! Jeez! Hmm. <sighs> Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. You're right. You... It's not because you feel despair. No, uh, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Then why? Even I'm not totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt, even though the odds were against us, for some reason, I felt courage. I, I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Byakuya? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the remnants of hope were to find this place? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said. S so you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of master? Until now. I kept relying on you, and I never really got to make decisions on my own, but I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time, but the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared, and I'm worried, but despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. <laughs> no. I think I got it from you. Stubborn to a fault. <laughs> me? You were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's your influence, Toko. For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than in prison life, regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. Keep yawning, but it is more of a reasonable time to yawn You now. two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad. Jeez, why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, uh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? Toko, 
Do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. <laughs> so, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made. No complaining. I love how she's still somehow managing to put Byakuya above them, but then at the same time being like, no, I want to stay with you and just not be with Byakuya anymore. He's going to be like, wow, shit, okay. Freedom! <laughs> You said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. Hm. I don't need your concern. Master and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Huh? There he is. Master Byakuya! <laughs> it's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you, you will never change. change. <laughs> yep. Master? So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope like you. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair and come home safe. Uh, but you don't have to rush or anything, okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. I have the gun Mr. Byakuya gave me. And I have my reliable friend Toko. And about mom and dad, I didn't find anything. I went to the torture room later. But it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. Or fake. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere. Right? Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. See you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. Seriously? Well, she surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in. So I can end it properly. With my own two hands. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine. I'll partner with you for just a little while. At least until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Aww. Yeah. That's sweet. Hmm? Oh, okay. Uh, I can't, uh, mm. I feel like I should skip the. <laughs> I feel like I should. Actually, you know what? You know what? I've thought of something even better. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to mute the audio so you guys can't hear it. But I'll be okay. Ah. Uh, well, that was cool. That was very good. It was very unique um, compared to what the previous game was i have to go previous game not previous games because i played one and then two and then this one but this one takes place before two so we've been introduced to servant who ends up in dangarompa 2 the guy with the long hair who i can't remember the name of he has a reincarnation that's in dangarompa 2 so yeah it was a lot of fun i liked the um change of pace change of style going from like the um i'm trying to remember what they they class it as it's like a um visual novel styled um 
detective game to a third person shooter basically with puzzles and stuff it was cool i'm just happy i got to see like some of the old characters again because they don't really show up a lot in the second game until you get to the very end yeah it's been great it's been a lot of fun um the ending was crazy being forced to make the same decision over and over again but obviously i got the right ending because i think if i'd just chosen to break the controller on all the other occasions it would have just given me the um ending i had like when i chose to break it the first time around it is a shame about the kids but i think kotoko managed to live we know monica lived i wonder whether she'll like make an appearance in danganronpa 3 or not I don't know if there's any more games apart from Danganronpa 3 after this now for me to play. Because I have that on my list to play. So, Oh, and Genocide Jack. Oh, it was so fun to be Genocide Jack. It was so fun to have Genocide Jack back. Poco's a fun character. It was all just great. I loved it. The poor kids. Oh, wait. Are they okay? I wonder if they're okay. They look like they've been beaten up there and they're not dead. Whether they're, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. There she is. Trying to look like <laughs> Junko. So Junko's still alive somewhere at this point in time, which makes me think that she's still alive in Danganronpa 2 and then she's still alive in um the the next games i guess cutscene anything hello game oh all right then okay Don't shout so early in the morning. <laughs> You're not really a morning person, are you? Are you secretly staying up late without me? Thanks to your jimmy legs and snoring, I can't get a good night's sleep. You guys are sharing a, ro sharing a room in a massive hotel when you could have your own rooms? I am so not snoring. But it's true I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. Apparently I toss and turn a lot when I sleep. Apparently I talk in my sleep as well, when I used to have sleepovers when I was younger. They'd be like, you're so noisy. I'm like, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Although apparently when I was really young, I did sleepwalk. I, apparently I don't do that anymore though, so I don't know whether that was just a phase, but... And it wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! Lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? That's true. We're in a hotel. There's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? <laughs> you're believing the ghosts now? Oh, so you're into occult stuff now. Well, you really did get possessed, right? So ghosts do exist, right? <laughs> well, I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault. Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye, these people are gonna start fighting again. No time to slack off. What? But you're the one who woke up late. <laughs> hey! I told you to wait! Aw, come on, Toki! Nice. I feel like that's the best outcome you could get. Thin. That's a good way of putting an ending. Cool. Yeah, we did it. You can now read the spin off novel. Sorry, what? There's a spin off novel? Ultra Despair Hag Hagakure. You can now make use of the bonus mode where you can view the CGs and some PNGs. 
by loading the clear save data with the star, you can check them out. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. Yes, we will save that in slot eight so it's separate on its own. Nice. We did it, guys. I beat the game. I think I kind of said everything I wanted to while the credits were rolling. But yeah, I was, yeah, I've really enjoyed this game. It's been wonderful to get back into the series because it has been so long, at least a year since I played Danganronpa 2, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, I'm happy. We still have Danganronpa 3 in the mix that I'll get to at some point. I'm probably not going to do it straight away. I'm probably going to leave it a little bit before I dive into that one because that's going to be... If we're going by Danganronpa 1 and Danganronpa 2 length, it's going to be like a 40... What was the... I think... I think Danganronpa 2 was about 45 to 50 hours long. So that's going to be a long one. So I think um, what I need to do is I need to look at what other games um, are around and what's coming out. I know that there's going to be... Uh, a final episode for The Long Dark, which will probably come out sooner than I'm expecting it to. Or, well, to be honest, I'm trying to think how long it's been since episode four came out, but that's normally like a half a year or so until the next one comes out normally, I think. So I imagine that if I like dive bombed into Danganronpa 3, it would just come out. Um, and there's lots of other little games I'd like to play before that, but I definitely am going to be playing Danganronpa 3 to finish off the series. I think I've got to watch an anime as well before I play Danganronpa 3. So I'm going to need to brush up on the lore a bit, I think, just to make sure I'm reading and like watching and playing everything in the right order. So I kind of know what's going on uh, every time. But yeah. It's been a fantastic adventure with you guys. So thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you had as much fun as I did. It was a fantastic little short series. A nice, refreshing take on Danganronpa, which was great. I loved it. And uh, expect something new and wonderful on the Friday stream from now on. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be just yet, but I will be adding it to the schedule and it'll be all set up and everything. So I will let you guys know next Friday. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, I hope you've all had a fantastic week and enjoy your weekend and I will see you guys on Sunday. Take care everybody, love and hugs. See you soon, bye guys, bye!